This is Larry coming to you from the Carter Vision Lab. Today we're going to show you a 50-year-old Carter Vision recorder player that is actually working. We have in the cassette basket down there a 50-year-old uh, Carter Vision pre-recorded program, Football Follies. And we're going to get started here by showing you some of the controls. This is the off-on switch right here. Push it to the left, it turns it on. Turn it to the right, it's off. Down here we got the function switch. Turn it to the right, it's play. Turn it to the left, it's rewind. The middle button here is stop. To get record, we hold record button in while turning the knob to the right. To get fast forward, we hold this in, turn it to the left. Moving over here to the left side of the deck, we got the camera to, camera monitor switch. You put it in the position it is now to the right, you can record off the air. Center position, like this, is so you can record off the camera, and to the right, as you could hear, the servo motor turns off. This switch here is the timer record uh, switch. The first thing you got to do is turn this on, set the time delay here up to eight hours, and then press the record and turn it to play. Down here we got the skew control, which is the tape tension, turn it to the left, puts more tension on the tape to get a bend at the top of the screen out, turn it to the right, less tension. And finally, this is the tracking control to keep the picture clear of tracking air. Now. We take a look at the back of the unit here. This is the fish tank back here in hole. And looking over here on the left side is the servo panel right here. Off center to the left is the record for the video electronics right here. Over here off center to the right is the playback electronics for the video. This panel on the right, right here, is record audio and the bottom half is video demodulation and video peaking with those purple controls. This is the dropout compensator board which was put in there to help uh, minimize black dots in the picture. And then on the bottom here we got the low voltage power supply, minus 12, plus 12. And over here, we got some jacks. We got a pod here. That's the color lock. This jack here is for the uh, camera. Camera microphone on the right. And the two bottom jacks are uh, DIN plugs for audio out if you got a stereo tape in there and you want to hook it to your, your uh, amplifier. There are some parts down here in the transport. A lot of moving parts here. It's quite complicated with a lot of moving parts. We got a Singer motor here, capacitor for the motor, and a lot of other moving parts in there. Okay, we're going to show you how to tape plays today. So to get the tape to play, we just simply turn the record play lever here, and you're going to see it pull the tape out and wrap it around the head, and you can hear the servo lock in. It speeds up to 1200 RPM when it starts reading the control track information here. And then the sound finally comes on. And we're actually going to take a picture here by looking at it on the screen. Sometimes halfbacks fall on their full Okay, we're looking at it right on the screen here, get a little moray good. effect. I'll repeat that. But that's the camera doing that. Fall on their My cell phone actually. Fall on their that's not actually on the picture, so. Yeah, we're watching a 50 year old tape, and that's got good color and good picture for 50 years old. Not bad. It's probably the only working car division out there. If any of you guys want to get one fixed, send, send it my way to Larry, the car division expert. And this is going to be uh, Larry signing off from the Carter Vision Labs in Downey.